Ron, thanks a lot. Congressman Brad Ellsworth kicked off a statewide tour to focus on job creation. He made his first stop at the Country Mark Oil Refinery in Mount Vernon. The stop comes a day after President Obama reversed a ban on oil drilling off some U.S. shores. Fox News' Jason Classwell has more on what this means for the local economy and Congressman Ellsworth's take on what seems to be a reversal in the Obama administration energy policy. Country Mark Pipeline Superintendent George Morgan likes what he heard from the president. It was a step in the right direction. Cap and trade and offshore drilling were some of the main issues Congressman Ellsworth discussed with the employees. You know, when we're talking about the huge refineries, uh, we also need to look at places just like this and make sure we're not doing things that hamper their business, and that's important to me. This week, President Obama lifted a 20-year moratorium on exploration and drilling in parts of the Atlantic Ocean, the Gulf of Mexico, and northern Alaska. Lifting the ban is something many Republicans support, and many Democrats and environmentalists have traditionally opposed. Although it may be years before motorists see a single drop of oil from the new offshore drilling initiatives, Congressman Ellsworth says is a step in the right direction. And I think it's also smart to be strategic. You know, we can't go in right now and drill every bit of oil and, and bring it up out of the earth. You know, we've got to be strategic on how we pull it up and in what, in what increments we do that. Within the first couple of months of taking office, President Obama canceled drilling leases and exploration in Alaska. But Ellsworth says he does not see the president's new stand as a flip-flop. You know, I'm not sure it was a change of heart, but I think, I think the timing is correct. It's a national security issue. We, we need to, as a country, develop our own resources and not depend on the Middle East. Morgan says the country has the refineries available to process the oil, but it could take years and even decades before that becomes a reality or before motorists see any relief at the pump as a result of the decision. In Mount Vernon, Jason Claspel, Fox 7 News.